regular women's pants are held together by like spandex and a hope and a dream so your butt crack doesn't fall out. I don't know, something to think about. Hello, <laughs> welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time if it is your first time here. So I've been working hard lately. I've been accidentally making a mini documentary. This one video that I've been working on has been getting very out of hand and the time sunk is it's hard to comprehend how much time. Research, compiling visuals and writing and recording and re-recording. So I just need a bit of a break from that. And I wanted to do a bit of an informal video, hence the pile of pants. So I know that when I was first starting writing, content like this was really useful for me. It helped give me ideas and it helped uh, me understand the fit of clothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of the riding pants that I own, all my lower body gear, and kind of talk you through some of them, the benefits, the pitfalls, just go over like what are my favorites. I'll show you each of them on me, I'll show you the fit. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. By the way, I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Megan Stark. I'm a web developer, business owner, motorcyclist, that's why I have all these riding pants. Now on my site, I sell motorcycle safety gear. So one of those is in here. And then I'll give you a couple of armor recommendations as well. As you know, there's an exciting new piece of armor that I am stocking on my site. So super hyped to be able to provide that for you guys, for those of you in warmer climates, especially. Let's get into it. We got a lot of pants to go through. Okay, what do you know? This video is not simple to execute, but First up is the newest pair of riding pants in my collection. They were generously gifted to me by Pandomoto, and I love this company. I've been wearing their jeans for, I wanna say three years now, and I'll show you my other pair of jeans by them, but these ones are really excellent. They're a new style, they're called the Kusari 2, and they look like leather, but they're actually a wax denim. These ones are awesome because they really camouflage the armor. I want you to look at my knees <laughs> and guess which one has the armor in it. It's really hard to tell, both because this style camouflages the armor well and because I've got some really excellent armor in it that I sell in my store. I'll show you real quick. This is the joint protector that I've got in this knee. This one has nothing in it. And then I also have hip protectors in. Bet you wouldn't have guessed that either. The hip protectors are shorter than this one. Um, and the knee protectors, these are like knee or elbow. And then the hip protectors are hip or shoulder. And technically this is just a universal joint protector, but most hip pockets aren't this long and most shoulder pockets aren't this long. So I tend to recommend these for the knee or elbow and the shorter ones for the hip or shoulder because that's just like how the pockets tend to go. But you can just put them wherever they fit. So if this is too long for your pocket, you can go ahead and measure it before you order on my website. Typically, I'd say in like 90% of the cases, um, you need one big one and one small one, or two big ones and two small ones. These are so complicated to talk about, but you know, it's a set. <laughs> you got two elbows, typically two knees. So <laughs> the set comes with two of each. Back to the task at hand, these fabulous pants. So I love that these come up mid-rise. I think the armor's camouflaged beautifully. You can't even tell it's in there. They have like a really nice feel. So they feel flexible, they feel comfortable. And these ones are a size 26. And that's pretty true to size for me if you actually go off of like waist measurement. Sometimes women's pants, <laughs> and this is like, if you know, you know, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. <laughs> but women's pants, like I often wear like a size 24 or 25 and I do not have a 24 inch waist. That's just not how it is. And actually one of my older pairs of Pando Moto pants are a size 24. I was probably between sizes, but I went down and they look really great, but they can't quite fit the armor. So the size 26 has enough room for me to like comfortably bend, move around, like mount the bike and all that and fit some armor in without being too tight. So they have a really great fit across the back and they don't gap back here. So if you have like a slopey back and you have issues with pants gapping, I love that these don't do that. It's really fantastic. So I'm kind of blown away by the fit of these pants. Um, they've got a great length. If you have really short legs, these might be too long for you, but you can also always get them hemmed. Tailoring is very underrated. <laughs> um, if the knee ends up in the right spot for you and all you gotta do is hem up the bottom, go for it, it's worth it. <laughs> so these pants um, are more of like a skinny straight leg, like somewhere between skinny and straight. It depends on the size of your calves, 
but for me they don't cling to every contour of my calves and I think that would make them less versatile overall because then you'd have to have super skinny legs for these to fit. But these can fit skinny legs and medium legs. I don't know if they could fit really powerful calves. You tell me. <laughs> these are the women's style pants. Pandomoto also sells men's. So I'm sure all the men are gone by now, <laughs> but if you are looking for riding pants that are similar to the style and they have more styles available for men, go check out Pandomoto. I've got a discount code. I'm pretty sure I have a discount code. Use code S-T-A-R-K at checkout. I will let you know somewhere on the screen how much you get off or what kind of discount that is. Panamoto is awesome, I highly recommend them. Features, these have great real pockets. Look how far I can put my hands in my pants. That can hold some stuff. There's this uh, zipper pocket in the back. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and then this, uh, this cheek is blank just for your pleasure. It's got these, uh, the ruching, the classic moto ruching so that you get more knee articulation and there's more comfort and there's more comfort when you're crouched on the bike. I'm like so stupid in this video. And I wore some white socks so you can see the edge of the pants. They are pretty long. I've got about a 30 inch inseam and I think these are a 30 inch inseam pants. Great for with boots. It'll like reach the boot. Otherwise I often cuff the bottom. Even if they're not like too long, I just like the look of a cuffed bottom pant. So that's something I often do. It's really soft through here and really comfortable. These are Kevlar lined <laughs> and they're a heavyweight type of denim. I think it's Cordura. I'll have to double check that. This is a casual video. I can't get all the stats right now. So I think that covers the essentials. I highly recommend these. These are new to me. I have to wear them on the bike, but if they're anything like the other Pandomoto pants, they're gonna be rad, they're gonna be awesome, they're gonna be comfortable. So these are super flattering, comfortable, and they are like, they're like stiffer. They're not like stretch pants by any means. They do feel like you're wearing pants. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. You know, some people are leggings people and they don't know what pants feel like and they refuse to participate in pants culture. I actually do, for those of you who will die in the name of comfort, have some pants that are perfect if you're a leggings type person and you want that experience on the bike without all the risk factor of riding in only leggings. You want to be protected and comfy. So we'll do that one next and I will go change out of these. I think we covered everything. Okay, so comfy pant lovers, this one is for you. These are the Oxford riding, I think they call them riding leggings, and they feel really great. And I have to admit, these are actually my least worn pants, but it's not really any fault of the pants. It's because, I gotta go grab something again, but it's because the armor they came with is this horrible, horrible CE level two, and it's obviously very protective, but if you know anything lately about the channel, is that I'm literally selling a far superior armor option and it's a recent innovation. So I bought these, I want to say sometime in like 2019, 2018 or 2019, I can't keep my dates straight. With the pandemic, it's like, when was anybody anywhere? The Sastec armor was developed in 2020 and then I started selling it at the end of 2021. I didn't get my hands on it until the end of 2021. So I haven't been able to wear these pants with the new armor and see how they look because these, because they're leggings, they just completely do not camouflage the armor like other pants, like the Pandomoto ones. And I remember I posted a photo in these and someone was like, Jesus, either you got huge shins or that's like some prominent armor. I'm like, God damn it. Like, no, I don't have big shins. Stop spreading rumors about me. I rarely wore these because of how bulky the armor looked in them. Another thing is I gotta make sure that the pocket's in the right place. And with this new armor, I can think I can finesse it where it'll be in a better place because I hate where the armor sat on me. I might have too long of legs for these pants. The pocket starts like up here, that's pretty high, and it ends like right here. So if you can see where my actual knee is, I feel like the pocket should start like down here, you know? I feel like that would just be far better for me. So depending on the Velcro position, that's where like <laughs> you can land the armor. For that reason, these pants might be superior for petite women and short ladies. I'm like using synonyms, <laughs> petite people, because honestly, these could be unisex if you like a high-waisted fit, or you just like, like more room through here and you could like shift them down a little if you need more room through here. What was I getting at? Oh yeah, these would be really great, I think, for petite people because you can even see, it just comes up a little bit shorter on me, but I love the fit through here. It's very like secure. It's almost like super soft control top. It's super comfortable. It's got the belt loop, so you can kind of like wear a little belt and make them look like trousers. That's what I like because I thought that these felt kind of similar to a dress pant, so you could 
maybe scam your way into this being business casual if you need to commute to work. But I just think with my long inseam and I guess my long femur that is putting the armor pocket in the wrong place, these Oxford riding leggings would be better for petite people. So they're available on Revzilla. I will link them up. Hopefully one day I will make affiliate commissions for these recommendations. But until then, you're welcome for the recommendation. Yeah, these are just a great fit. I will put my size somewhere where you can find it so you can see if you are like me, but you maybe have a closer to 28, 26 inch inseam. These will probably be perfect for you. These will probably be excellent pants. They are Kevlar lined through the high points. They stop about right here, mid calf. That's pretty typical because by here, you're typically wearing your boot or like this is just not a high impact zone. You wanna hit those zones that are the hot spots if you were to slide or if you were to hit the ground any which way. So you're not very likely to like sustain an injury right through here. It's gonna be the knee, it's gonna be the hips, it's gonna be the butt. So all those zones are covered. Yeah, you should be good. You should save your skin. So always recommend an Aramid, Kevlar, some kind of material that will protect your skin because this is why you need real riding leggings as opposed to regular women's pants because regular women's pants are held together by like spandex and a hope and a dream. <laughs> even women's denim, even like 100% cotton denim, it's just not gonna hold up in the event of a slide. If it's a really minor slide, you might be fine, but you might also get like fabric burn and all these different things. So just <laughs> do yourself a favor. Point is, is if you're a gal, don't skimp on the lower body. I feel like that's the last thing we get to, that's the last thing I got to, and it's actually where you're statistically more likely to get a bit of an injury is the lower body, especially if you dump the bike or if you like, it's just more likely to hurt. <laughs> so don't neglect the lower body. All right, I think that's all for this pant. It's got armor pockets. Let me check to see if it's got hip ones. Yeah, it's got hip, <laughs> it's got hip pockets. I'm wearing no armor right now. Cool thing about the armor though is it gives you like a, a nice little silhouette. So maybe I'll pop in the hip armor at the very least, even if the knee protection doesn't quite fit comfortably because these are super comfy and they'd be good for commuting. If I'm just like bopping around town and I'm not too concerned about it, <laughs> then I might just wear these without the knee armor if it's too uncomfortable. Comfort is key, like just get the thing that'll work best for your lifestyle. That's why I'm like, don't buy something that's hideous you never wanna wear and you're always wearing the wrong gear on the bike, you wanna be excited to ride and you wanna be excited to wear this gear. <sighs> Too many monologues, let's get to the next pant. I mentioned leather pants, let's do those because man, this is like the most protective pant I have and it's really cool, but it's also costly. <laughs> so I understand if this isn't feasible for everybody, I made a major investment because I also wear these off the bike, they're super rad. So let's get into them. All right, these pants are fantastic, splendid, and divine. So they are a buttery, amazing feeling leather. They got the lace up front, so that gives you a lot more flexibility, I'd say, with the fit. If you, um, if you eat a burrito and you need more room, you can let them out. Or if you need more like hip and butt, you've been working out, like it's just great to have the lace up front because it just gives you a lot more real estate when it comes to fit in the pants, right? Just wanna make sure, oh, I gotta do one more. Okay, these pants are cotton lined and aramid lined. So that's the uh, non-copyrighted version of Kevlar. So they can't come for me this time. If you know, you know. Yeah, so they are abrasion resistant on like two levels. The leather is a really fantastic material. Leather is much better than regular cotton or regular denim, that's for damn sure. It's the choice of motorcyclists for a reason because leather is really fantastic in protecting your skin. Why not shred this skin first? So these are awesome. I wear them when I want to be Jim Morrison. These are, I said, cotton aramid lines. It's like a stretch cotton. So the lining feels really good. It feels really comfortable. It's got pockets. Bitches love pockets. It's got pockets everywhere you need it. It's got this uh, accordion back. So when you lean over, your butt's not hanging out. And it's also a mid-rise. I think you might've noticed that all the pants so far that I put on are high rise or mid-rise. That just works better for the bike. Even though low rise is coming back in a big way, mid-rise and high rise are best for the bike. So your butt crack doesn't fall out. I don't know, something to think about. And these are also really cool because they are like a slim leg 
but they also have a little um, zipper so you can like kick that open. So actually I tend to wear it with the zipper open, well, I mean, depending on the boot, but I tend to wear it with the zipper open cause it has like a little bit of a flare look and split hem pants. As I said, last time I was showing you these are having a bit of a moment right now. And I think that's a great look because not everybody can get into them super easily. I mean, this just makes it easy to get through your ankle and heel. I mean, man, I remember when I used to wear like super skinny jeans all the time, getting in and out of them <laughs> was such a struggle when like the opening for your foot is this big. So this is very easy to get in and out of. Super supple, super comfy. I really enjoy these. The only downfall is that they don't have armor pockets. You can work around that by getting a pair of armored leggings. You can get leggings that just have pockets for armor and some of them are abrasion resistant material. So you can like double up on your protection, but they can hold the armor in place underneath pants. Obviously that's not ideal for a hot summer day and maybe leather's not your choice for a hot summer day anyways. In the milder temperatures or the colder temperatures, that is clutch. So love these pants. I think they're gorgeous. I think they speak for themselves. I don't know what else to say. They are a higher price point, but not, they're not crazy. Like if you look at luxury brands that don't make things nearly this nice, some luxury brands are a scam. <laughs> they're not, they're not giving you luxury goods. This is like a truly luxurious piece. And I think it's worth every penny. It's made in Australia. So you might have to pay some tall fees to ship it over to you. But I just think, I think the price is right for the quality of the pants. They are phenomenal. There you go. That's what they look like. I will give you some close ups and my, my microphone is dying. So I got to do this lickety split. I'll get into my lazy rolling pants. All right. Now my lazy rolling pants. I provide these in my store. They are unisex pants. These are technically designed with men in mind, but I'll tell you what, don't they look good on me? And they might look good on you too. So <laughs> check out my website. I sell two styles of pants. I have these ones on hand, supply chain, selling out, blah, blah, blah. I have to admit that these are actually a sample. So they're not perfect pants. They are pulling a little bit here. The astute among you or the seamstresses might notice that, but there's room through here. So it's just kind of like a button placement thing. But I inspect every single pair of pants before I sell them. And I just have these samples because I gave myself something shitty. They're a size that doesn't exist either. So it's like a sample size and a sample that's not perfect. And if you know apparel stuff, you know, that's just like comes with the territory of stuff, but the perfect mint condition, real size pants are what I sell in my store. So I just want to say that in case any of you notice like this weird pulling action on the button, it's because I gave myself crappy pants. These are a size 27. We don't sell a 27 because I have some room. I could uh, pass off with a 26, but I think what I'm going to do when I get my restock, which is coming soon. Maybe by the time you see this, they'll be back in stock, but definitely by spring, summer, I will have my new stock. I'll have a bunch more sizes and I'll have a lot of gear for you guys. When those come, I'm planning on sizing up to a 28 in black and doing like a cool relaxed fit tech wear. Like I could, hold up. <laughs> I could wear them kind of low. This is cool for like a Kim possible look. Like if I were wearing like a little black top, this is very Kim possible. Yeah. I think like these in a relaxed fit would be really cool and casual and super duper comfy. They are already quite comfy. These ones are a cotton. So the outside of the pants are not as abrasion resistant as what you saw in leather pants, of course, and those Cordura wax denim from Pando. These are super soft and comfy. They feel like a trouser. They feel like a skate skater boy pant. They feel like a twill. I mean, they're cotton, so they're soft, but they are lined throughout with Kevlar. So these are the kinds of pants that if you like got in a really serious accident, you just throw these out afterwards. You wouldn't wear them again. You might be able to wear some of those other pants again. The riding leggings, no. These pants, no. Leather pants, you can probably wear again. <laughs> They'll obviously look a little scuffed up, but in the case of an accident, you just want this stuff to shred so that it doesn't heat up on the body and so that it doesn't shred you. So it is good. Your gear does its job when it shreds and when it doesn't shred you. So just so you guys know, in case you're like, oh, but like, why would the pants get ruined when you get in a wreck? Cause I'm like, cause you're not ruined. You're not wrecked. That's what the pants do. So these are Kevlar line through here. So you're going to get your abrasion resistance there, and you're gonna get your impact protection here. I don't know if you can hear that, <laughs> but I've got uh, hip protectors in either pocket here, and then I don't have the knee protection in because because I just didn't do it, okay? This is supposed to be an easy video, <laughs> leave me alone. I do have other footage of me with the knee protection in the pants. You can see that, browse my, browse my catalog. These have knee protection pockets, they have hip protection pockets. 
the armor that I sell fits perfectly inside them. You're welcome. Actually, now is a great time. This is so late. I'm not very good at marketing things right now, but if you live in a hot climate, you might think, man, looks a little stuffy. Even though honestly, I don't think it is, but looks a little stuffy to have something like these in my pants, especially when you have such a cool breathable cotton pant like that seems really great for riding in the Arizona heat, but I need more airflow. What can you offer me? And to that I say, I can offer you ventilated armor. Wow, that's super rad. The way this armor is designed, it's designed to contour around this grid and distribute the force that way. And real quick, it would seem as though you wear it with <laughs> this side out facing the road, but I have been in cahoots with the manufacturer. I've been talking to a bunch of people and even some of the other retailers have those wrong, but it's actually designed and tested Granted, like you can, you can wear it any way you want, but if you want just the absolute most protection humanly possible out of these protectors, they're level two. So that is motorcycle recommended. Level one is good. It's better than nothing, but level two is ideal. Um, you wear it this direction and it still contours around you great. I mean, look at that. It's very flexible. So it's way better than the other level two, but I just want you to know that you wear it this way, this towards the body, this towards the road. This is actually tear resistant fabric. And upon impact, these are absolutely reusable. Your pants will probably shred, get down to the Kevlar air mid lining and then protect the protectors. So these can be, <laughs> that's why like I love shipping these because they can't get damaged in shipping because they're able to just be like hit by so much impact and nothing will happen to them because they're really strong. So that's really fantastic. You need to just buy one set of these or one set per garment because you know, it's nice to not have to keep moving the armor around and then you're good to go. You have them probably for life. Highly recommend them. Super excited to be offering them on my store. And actually I have a little discount coupon if you're buying your first set. So go ahead and do that. The reviews are in. People love them. I love them. It's just like, great to be me lately. It's great to be offering a, like a super useful product. I'm, I mean, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all you guys. <laughs> thank you so much for your support of the store, what I've been up to. The business has been growing and I'm just over the moon about it. It's really fun. I've been a little busy because all my business endeavors, because I still do all my web development and all that stuff, they have been very demanding and I haven't been able to like post a video on YouTube in a month as of today hoping that my history of the leather jacket video goes up and all is well, but it has just been so much work. I mentioned in the beginning, but thanks for being awesome. If you're new here, you should subscribe and watch all my other stuff. I'm proud of what I've done on this channel. I think it's all worthwhile stuff to sign on for. So back to these pants. Yeah, men's and women's. Uh, the only thing about these pants is they are like, okay, so on the ranking, the easiest pants to get into are those, those like stretch pants. You just slide them right on easy peasy. These are easier than jeans, but slightly more difficult at the ankle because you have to like stretch it out. It is a little bit like getting into your skinny jean. Yeah, like point your toe, get your pant over the ankle and then you're in. <laughs> so it's not like difficult, but it is not as fast. It's just like, whoosh. I feel like I have to say this because like men and pants, they don't know the struggle of a hole this big that you had to get your foot through. Anyways, these pants, I love them. They've got the pockets, cargo pockets, these snap shut. These are open pockets and then one open pocket and one snap pocket on the back. Super flattering. I love the cut through here. I just think it's like a cool detail. It's like a reinforced vibe and it's just, I know a little unconventional and I think it looks good. All right, stop looking at my butt, God. All right, so yeah, these are a 27 inch waist, 30 inch inseam. I will one day show you what the bigger sizes look like on me. I'm gonna show them on other folks. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have so much variety. If you wanna see these pants on a man who is a typically 32, 32, go to the website and check out the product images. Dan sized up in these pants cause he is muscular through the hips and thighs, thighs and butt. If you need more room through here, size up, I recommend. So if you're like curvier than I am, or you're like mu more muscular, size up, get like, he got, we put him in a 34, 32, and it was a great fit. And in the casual pants that are not slim bottom, not cargo, he is a typical 32, 32. Just something to be aware of. For women, I'd say typically get your regular size if you are within the realm of typical sizing, you know, not like I'd say plus size, size up from what you think your regular size would be. I know these, I, I categorize myself as a skinny person, but I have been like lifting weights. <laughs> so I think the, 
if you need the room for the armor, that's like the bigger thing to think about is you wanna give yourself at least like a quarter of an inch or up to a half an inch extra to be able to fit the armor in there. Things to think about, buy my pants. I love them, you'll love them. Send me pictures of you in them, I'll hype you up. All right, it appears I made it the whole time without my battery dying. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I've got a lot of exciting, cool things that are gear, armor, motorcycle safety, introspective, analysis kind of stuff in the works. For those of you who just like have stuck around for a long time and have been enjoying the channel, I, I, I just wanted to say thank you to all the really positive response. I know this is like, this is about to be like almost two months later, but I don't do YouTube full time. So I try to get to things when I can. And I try to prioritize based on the things that can help give me a livelihood at the time. So thank you so much for the, the support on the video where I talked about quitting motor vlogs. I didn't expect uh, anyone to really care. I didn't expect it to be a noteworthy thing that I wouldn't be making videos and just chatting and shooting the shit on my bike. I didn't expect uh, so many people to enjoy it and want me to continue making it. You know, I, I'm not gonna swear them off 100%. I still plan to maybe do a little bit of travel motor vlogging, but I don't really plan, like I said, to just like chat on the bike with um, no reason in particular or about topics. I'm probably gonna like sit down and provide a little bit more of a thorough conversation when it comes to topical things, you know, unless it all just aligns a different way. But yeah, um, part of it also is like a little bit of a safety and security thing. If I'm just riding around my neighborhoods too often or showing people where I go all the time, eventually I might not be able to go to those places anymore. So I have to keep certain things private so that I can still enjoy them and live my life. Granted, the channel is quite small, but hey, if all goes according to plan, the channel will grow. And these are problems that are a sign of growth, but problems that I want to reduce if possible so I can keep enjoying this city because the city of Milwaukee is a huge backdrop to my content online because I love it so much and it's so fantastic, but I do have to keep parts of it for myself so that I can still enjoy it. Yeah, I know that's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of, not something that people talk about on YouTube, I feel like, but because moto vlogging is me showing you me like commuting or going around town or like, I know it's a big security concern. So, I mean, I don't know how vloggers do it, telling everybody like, oh, I love this restaurant. I'm here every day. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like, well, you could ruin that for yourself. So I know most of you are cool and you would never be weird. And if you ran into me anywhere, uh, you'd just say hi and then we'd call it a day. Anywho, perhaps a weird thing to leave this video off on, but I wanted to say thank you because I know a lot of you guys say that you just absolutely love the Moto Vlogs and that they're really fun and, and you enjoy my perspective, but I will keep inserting my perspective and hopefully a bit of personality into the typical videos. And I hope that I just keep providing like really useful content because I wanted to make sure that the videos I make are obviously informative and I just didn't want to make like just random shit. <laughs> so I don't think I have yet. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, ride safe. <laughs>